Hello everybody and welcome back to the safe file once again. I think we're going to jump in and do a modded challenge today. Honestly, I have very little um, knowledge of what many of these are. I haven't tried any of the retribution challenges yet though, so it seems like a good idea to try one of those. So let's go with, um, I guess we could go with Topsy Turvy first and just take them in order. Soy Boy also sounds interesting. Uh, but yeah, we've got quite a lot. Epiphany has a few too. Interesting. Okay, we've got quite a lot to go for here. Yeah, let's go with a topsy-turvy and just see what it is. I genuinely haven't attempted any modded challenge um, apart from like one of the Fiendfolia ones with the China character. Uh, so I don't really know what I'm getting into here. This, this could be really interesting um, and really fun. I don't know what character we're playing as, especially with the Retribution ones. I have no idea what items will be given or what sort of challenge it will be. Um, but it's going to be part of the fun. And I also have no idea what the unlock might be too, because the modded unlock sort, sort of... Oh, we play as Icarus, okay. Uh, the unlock um, mod that shows you what they do doesn't actually work for uh, modded characters. Okay, so we start as Icarus here, which is interesting. Uh, a character that we have unlocked, but haven't played yet. Um, I'm going to try and keep my eternal heart. We, we do have um, a creep beneath us and i'm not sure what that is okay so, oh stonies kind of look a bit different they've got a little bit of a, a jank to them now i can't remember what my active does i think i think the active throws tears back at enemies if i remember correctly i remember it being pretty good oh mini monstros look pretty cute as well now yeah, definitely got some new re-sprites going on. Some of the, some of them there are quite nice. But yeah, with this character, we can have um, certain enemies evolve and stuff when we hit them, I believe. There can be some interesting stuff going on. I'm going to try my best to keep my Eternal Heart alive here. That's kind of my primary concern right now. Oh, I don't I, I don't know what many of these enemies do and I ain't ready to find out. So I'm just trying to stay as safe as I can here. Okay, we did manage to... Oh, bollocks, you stupid little, stupid little shyster. God damn it, I lost my wings. Gimme, gimme, there you go. And we also got one of these. Thank you. We got our stuff back. Ah, bloody... Did not mean for that to happen. Okay, I need to get rid of this fire. This fire's distracting me. Yeah, also, I keep forgetting to uninstall the, um, the fire reskins, because... While a lot of the other resprites in this mod are really cool, I really am not a fan of the fire-based ones. They do not look amazing in my opinion, but some people might love them. It's good to show them off regardless, I think. Right. Having the uh, the curse where enemies can be evolved is... Uh, not evolved, sorry. Uh, where they can be champions is definitely causing issues. I do see a tinted rock there that we unfortunately can't do much about right now. Also, that blue boy, yeah, there you go. So I think the idea is that with this character, some enemies can be evolved when they enter the room, but we have tiers that can devolve them. So we kind of have evolve, like evolution and devolution sort of going in tandem. I'm going to guess there's no item rooms on this challenge. There usually isn't on challenges, but I should really check it out regardless and just see. Um... Yeah, goddamn, everything's turning into a champion right now, and it's it's causing me some issues. Causing me some problems. Okay, this is a pill room, so we're going to take all the pills. Balls of Steel is fantastic. That's whatever. And that's whatever. Balls of Steel was very, very good, though. Really happy to have that. Okay, kind of glad I did come in here now. Um, This is a rather annoying room, but I was going to say I could get Shoop the Whoop, but honestly, a Shoop the Whoop can be better than my active also. Did not expect it to be able to championify the Envy Heads separately, each different one of them, which is kind of an interesting concept. Um, I'm sure it won't come back to bite me in the ass. Oh my lord. <laughs> I'm really, they're like just bouncing around at such high velocities. I'm having a really hard time keeping an eye on what the hell's going on here. I still don't really know what my creep does yet. I need to sort of figure that out. Oh my god, mushrooms, please stop. Oh, there's still one left. I'm like, what the hell? It's done. Nope, it's not. Uh, we did get Razor Claw, which, if it's working, is very good. I think it's like a 1 in 20 chance to fire a superpowered tier. But, gotta be honest, there's a fairly good chance it isn't working right now. Because, unfortunately, Ipecac 
seems to be all sorts of broken right now. Um, and yeah, it's just, it's unfortunate. But the mod Ipecac is getting a pretty big update overhaul fairly soon. So I'm sure the devs are aware of some of the issues and are planning on fixing that. Yeah, so, okay, so it's just a slow increase for now. That's still pretty good though. I like that. All right, good, good. I find it interesting that you can separately turn these guys into champions. Right, eye drops is really good. So yeah, no item rooms, unfortunately. That is going to be a little bit of an issue. We go down. We did lose the Eternal Heart, which I'm very upset about. But the Balls of Steel pill does slightly offset that for us. Um, ooh, what the hell? Normally, it's rare to see these in a regular room. There you go. Bunch of blue flies. I haven't seen any of the Razor Claw shots come out yet, so maybe I want to just take this. It's a it's a bit of a weird one, um, but it gives Spectral and it gives a, gives a tear up. And I think the Spectral alone for me is like a huge, a huge get. Nice, actually got a penny out of that somehow. Just some extra red hearts there. Yeah, I love the visual effect when you hit an enemy and uh, like downgrade it. That little, like, sort of water sploosh effect. It's pretty cool. Okay, these guys shouldn't be too bad. We did manage to charm one of them off that thing in the middle, I think, but not exactly the most useful thing for us right now. And I know I'm not really using my active much. I probably should be trying to use my active a little bit more. I don't particularly need to. These guys look kind of interesting, too. There are definitely some cool resprites here. Okay, I'm gonna use it there just to try and save myself from that shot. Oh, hello. I didn't realize there was one of you little little fellas. Wasn't expecting that. But yeah, even in a room like this, Spectral is just helping so, so much. We have to be way less careful. And I feel like I feel like Spectral and Flight just go hand in hand. Like, it's so annoying to have Flight and not have Spectral. So giving, like, getting the opportunity to have both is just really, really useful. Especially off of the back of a trinket that also gives the tears up. I think that's not bad at all. I do think people uh, tend to underrate some of the worm trinkets that do stuff like this. Like, it's really not causing me any additional issues with hitting enemies. In fact, it's giving me a bit more range and a little bit more lenience in hitting enemies. So, I don't find it that bad whatsoever. And some people really find the worm trinkets difficult. Um, as for the question of the day to day, what's the last circumstance or situation you were in that made you really uncomfortable? It'd be interesting to know. It'd be interesting to know. Like, actually, the one that you're, like, physically there for as well. I feel like that's that's always an interesting thing to hear. Because there's just there's just so many things in life that can make you so very uncomfortable. And, it, and the thing is, as well, it's, like, very varied person to person. Because it depends on what you see as uncomfortable. But then on top of that, it depends on, like, your personal situation to what is uncomfortable for you. Like, something that is uncomfortable for everyone else might not be a problem for you or vice versa. Dude, this enemy is pissing me right off. Just die. Oh my god, that was such an annoying enemy to deal with. Oh, being able to downgrade these guys is amazing. These enemies are really annoying normally. I'm hoping I can get a downgrade on that guy, damn it. I couldn't. Really trying my hardest to not get hit by the, uh... To not get hit by the bloody turret in the middle, because I absolutely hate those things. Yeah, we managed it. Not too bad, not too bad. Fortunately, keys here aren't really that good for us. Oh, fuck. What in the shit? What in the actual fuck was I meant to do there? <laughs> maybe the active doesn't... Maybe the active just downgrades enemies, because that's what it seemed to do then. Yeah, what in the hell was I meant to do at that situation? That was horrible. Like, what is this? <laughs> I don't even have flight anymore. This is, like, ridiculous. What on earth are you meant to do? <laughs> this seems fair. Yeah, that was... That was a really fair and balanced room. Whoever created that, um, <laughs> I don't know how do you say get bent in fish. That's what the room's name is. Whoever made that, you need to go back to room design school because that was fucking horrendous. <laughs> that was awful. Who on earth play tested that and was like, yes, this room is definitely balanced and correctly made. No, 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 no. Okay, so my, my active, I did get it a bit wrong. My active just, just does just downgrade enemies. For some reason, I thought it was the one that, like, returned bullets. Oh, what the hell are you? 
Hello there, sir. I need to be using that in a little bit of a different way than I have been. Very interesting enemy there that I've never seen before. See, this is the thing with Fiendfolio. There's still sometimes just enemies you've never seen. Bunch of cards. Stars, Empress. I'm just going to pop this. Strength. Scratcher. Scratcher gives me an adjust. I like adjust. Double bombs. I'll take the Empress here, I think. But yeah, not not too not too pleased about the whole situation that we just went through there, I'll be honest. That was that room should not have been able to kill me that easily. It was basically guaranteed damage, so. Yeah, go back to room design school, whoever made that, because you need to learn a lesson or two about making a room that's actually fun and plausible to not get hit in. That's the problem with Fiendfolio as well. Like, I love Fiendfolio, but what the fuck enemy was th What enemies are these? I've never seen any of these before. Um, but you know what? Let's let's try and get ourselves flight back. There you go. Um, yeah, that's like the problem with Fiendfolio. It's a great mod, but there's just so many rooms that it is pretty impossible to genuinely balance them all. really, really don't like this situation. These little sacks are, like, impossible for me to hit. This is why I want Spectral. Would have made things so much easier for me. Okay, that, that made things a lot easier, I will say. Okay. Downgrade them. So it's going to be that some enemies probably don't downgrade correctly, but quite a lot of them do. This is kind of an interesting idea for a challenge. Just evolving and downgrading enemies constantly. It seems, it seems interesting. I think we definitely need like, to get the, the right boss items and stuff to make this good and okay. Don't rebirth. That's, that's a bitch-ass move. Why would you do that to me? But yeah, it seems like most of the time rooms are going to be much harder. And then we can use our active if they're too hard. You shouldn't be too bad. Good, good. Ah, oh, balls. We are taking damage in this room. I, people have told me hundreds of times how to fight these bosses, and I still can't fathom how to actually do it without getting hit. They have told me time and time again, but I'm still really, really bad at it. I think I'm doing it right. Yeah, I think I did that right. Oh my god, I did it. Oh my god, I did it. Also, that is a fantastic, fantastic item for us to get right here. Okay, let's keep her going. Let's keep her going. There's certain rooms that we have absolutely no desire or need to downgrade stuff in. Uh, book items, eh, that's p potentially pretty good, depending on if we get a library or not. Yes, I think it's just based on, like, assessment of the room. How... How annoying is the room? How likely is it that we're going to need to downgrade stuff? I think there's going to be a lot of rooms where we really need to straight away. There's going to be a lot of other rooms where it's completely fine. Like, this this room's pretty much completely fine, in my opinion. Oh, God. That was close. I wonder what the chance of me firing a downgrading shot is. Because it is, like... They're not visibly distinct. Okay, this probably wasn't the best room, but there you go. Um, they're not, the, the downgrading shots aren't visibly distinct. I can't tell when a tier is a downgrading one. It seems to just be a random chance on hit. Um, but yeah, I do wonder. Ugh. Don't enjoy this boss at all. Bonk. Did I not hit the boss with that bomb? Wow. Yeah. That... He still had his fucking damage resistance and the bomb did like nothing to him. That didn't even hit! Oh, I'm getting so pissed off. I don't like this boss at all. There 
There you go, he's dead. Just so worthless. I don't want a corn kernel. Corn kernel, bad. Um, I'll take two spooky, why not? Two spooky is actually pretty good. People underrate it because they're like, oh, fear bad. But there's like basically a guarantee that you'll that you're very rarely ever going to get hit by contact damage ever again. I feel like that's a pretty pretty gnarly ability to have. Um, these enemies definitely are got upgraded. They shouldn't be showing up here. Good. You're rather annoying, but shouldn't be too bad. You are putting out quite a lot of fellas that I'm not in agreement with here. Good. Okay, again. Oh, house jump. Oh my god, you scared the shit out of me. Dude, why? Why, why, why? We found, I, I don't know why I'm like even bothering to uh, go exploring here. Once we found the boss, there's like nothing else for us unless we have enough money to make it into the uh, shop. Otherwise, like, the floor is worthless to explore any more than we need to. Right. If they get house, yeah, they get house to jump again. Just stay the hell away from them. They're a bit risky. Okay, so now, now shop is kind of plausible, and we should probably try and find it. Um, only one penny off. Now you're gonna try and open yourself on me, but I don't care for that, please. There we go. Up to fifteen cent. Easy peasy. Shop should be, uh, I was going to say down here, but apparently not. Yeah, also it means you can kind of like walk up on enemies like really closely. Uh, because a lot of enemies when they're feared, like they won't fire at you. So you can use it as kind of a barrier to like run into certain enemies uh, to stop them from firing. Pretty good. Pretty good. Oh, what the hell are these guys? See, that's what I'm talking about. There's just so many enemies in Finfolio that I'm still yet to ever see. I think the upgrade system with this character is uh, adding to that. The corn dips look pretty cool. They're a little bit risky, but I can deal. Hematemesis is fine. Honestly, I was just about to say, honestly, I'm just going to bomb myself out of this room, but I can't even do that. I am glad that I downgraded in this room, though, because those big osteoporosis-looking fools are uh, a little annoying. Yeah, unfortunately, we've been every which way apart from the way that the shop was, which is very, very typical for Isaac, to be honest. That's just kind of the way it goes. But we'll make our way forward. I saw um, that the other day, um, a few days ago when this video will be coming out, that Brotato got another huge update, so... You might be seeing that on the channel, and if you haven't seen it on the channel as of this video and you want to see it, let me know and I'll make sure to make some videos on it, because basically a big update came out that added Endless Mode, as well as a bunch of rebalances, new characters, new weapons, loads and loads of stuff. Uh, they also added official Steam Workshop support, which means the modding scene that was already thriving is going to get even bigger, which I, I really, really like. Um, I'm looking forward to uh, seeing the modding community. Okay, so there's no shops either. I, but for some reason, I was convinced there'd be shops. I don't know where I got that that little tidbit of knowledge from. But there you go, no shops. Some money's worthless. That was a a whole a whole lot of nothing. Uh, we gotta get some mum's heart. It's kind, of, it's kind of a rough challenge to be honest. Basically, it's for the majority harder enemies overall. Um, and. Really, the only way to upgrade ourselves is through devil deals and boss items. So it's 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 a bit risky, really. It's it's a kind of a tough challenge. So yeah, the enemies are upgrading a lot. I like the resprite of these red dudes. A bit more distinct from the bomb flies. It's rather nice. I fail to ha see how the lesser version of the bomb fly is the red dudes, though. And I was try I tried to blow that up, but it downgraded at the wrong time. Right, we'll take that. But yeah, like these guys ain't got shit on me. I can see forever. Honestly, I can see forever. I should really go back and just check for secret rooms here because there could be some really good stuff. I 
I mean, we got a speed up out of it already and some consumables. We also got a bomb for that tinted rock. And we also get a tiny bit more money. Ah, oh, the luck upgrade is pretty nice, I'll say. The luck upgrade is pretty nice. Uh, yeah, I'm going to do Cash Room as well. I'm taking a little bit of extra time on this floor, I realize. Evil sticker, chance for immortal, curse pennies, dire chest, spice keys. Why not? Why the heck not? Another luck upgrade is rather nice. Just want to quickly go and grab this. Honestly, considering money isn't really of much value to us, I should probably play this guy to try and get quicker charges on my active. Um, try and get like 9 volt or something. Or like the battery would be good to store charges. Anything of that nature might be quite nice. It depends, obviously, if he ends up giving us anything. Um, unfortunately, that is one of the most worthless things he could have possibly have given me. Just a bunch of charges, which I can't do anything with. So that didn't really pan out the way I was hoping it would. But there you go. And remember, we do have a bomb for this as well. Lovely. Let's get gone. Let's get gone. Okay. We're still a little ways off of beating this challenge. This, this little knife thing I picked up, by the way... I'm not convinced on it. It's it's an it's it's an okay item for bosses, but for regular enemies, it's not that good. Basically, it sticks itself into enemies, and then when we stand near that, it does some damage. And then when we stand near that enemy, oh, it also bleeds as well. When we stand near that enemy, we get a, a damage or a boost, like a, a damage boost when we're near them. It's interesting. Oh god, those fires just <laughs> don't work, do they? Oh, maybe these these are just okay. Maybe these aren't new enemies. Maybe they're just these are just resprites of the. Uh, of the, the black, blackhead worms, what you're going to call them. Don't know what this is. Vanilla wafer. Not bad. I'm sorry, my good friend. Didn't have to be this way. Not bad, though. Uh, vanilla wafer kind of helps sometimes. It's not going to be the best all the time, but... It's certainly not bad. Right, so now we know as well. We, we can just beeline it for the boss. There is essentially no reason to check the rest of the floor. We might be able to get like a library or something. The cash rooms potentially got some use. But apart from maybe like looking for secret rooms, everything else is kind of valueless here. Let's definitely downgrade these guys. <laughs> them, them enemies are, are really annoying, the ones that create the spikes under the ground. There's three of them as well. What the hell? But yeah, as you can see, not as big of an issue when you can fear them constantly. Ugh. We got Kingpin. Gross. When will Kingpin cease to exist? Because it ought to be soon. Are you pulling on my... Oh, that was awful. Why? I almost killed him. Kingpin's the worst. Just the worst. Right. Around the world and back again. You gotta go back all the way to this boss and do that all over again. God damn hate Kingpin. It is unfortunate that, like, Fiend Folio is just a masterful mod, but I have to say that the the boss design, at least in my opinion, is like the weakest aspect of, uh, of Fiend Folio. There is some really, really cool and unique bosses that I really like, but there's like seven or eight of them that I just dis- This is some fat horse shit. Stop teleporting me. I don't want to be teleported. I guess I'm just gonna have to do the fight without, without getting uh, more wings, because- Fuck me, I guess. Um, oh, God. The endless kingpin fighting is uh, a depressing state of mind. Also, no damage ups yet is really depressing, too. Oh, just look at this bullshit. There's just tears all over the screen. I thought this was a good idea. He's still alive. Why?
God, this boss with low damage is just depressing. That was fucking awful. <laughs> that was horrendous. Okay. Who knows if we're going to be able to beat this challenge. I'm not super confident, I'll be honest. Not with the amount of health we just lost to a really dumb boss. But yeah, there's like that guy, there's the dude in the bike, there's the one we fought on the first floor. There is a library, nice. Kind of sad that I traded away my trinkets here, but... There you go. Unfortunately, neither of these are worth taking. What is the, what's actually the um, thingy for this? On use transforms some enemies into a weaker version of themselves. D10, bruh. <laughs> Why is that there? Didn't expect that. Okay. Because every single one of those got upgraded when they shouldn't have been. That's why I didn't expect it. Because that's not how that room was designed. There's, may, maybe that room that I flamed out for being like really bad designed that I died to on the first challenge. Maybe that room was not designed that way at all. And I just got really unlucky with the upgrades. There's, there's, I didn't even think of the possibility of that being what, what happened there. Sad times if that was the case. But yeah, this this run is just kind of Oh, I hate it. I hate it. Stop teleporting me. Icarus is such a like bizarre character. I I, I think I think it's a It's a gimmick I don't know how to how to put it without sounding too negative. It feels like a gimmick for gimmick's sake. Like, the whole getting the flight and then teleporting back, I'm just like, I'm just not interested in it. I just can't be ass messing around with it. But yeah, it looks like we're going to die again here, which would be a real shame. But honestly, this run has not gone well. And when you only have, like, you have very limited starting items and you only have your boss and your, um... You only have your boss and your devil deals to actually get stronger... Leads to some some significant reduction in their potential power. That we're seeing right now. I mean, I might just have to like look into secret rooms a little more often and try and use them. Corny boys. Good old corny boys. Okay. Kind of need to. I just want to say, I kind of need to kill this guy first, so I'm just gonna keep reviving him. We're doing somewhat okay. I would like to find some HP. This guy could very well drop it for us. Damn it, missed with that. The double heart drop, let's go. Yes! He does exactly what I ask. Adversary. The knife! This, this knife item, it's kind of cool that it like applies bleed and gives us the damage aura, but it doesn't stay in enemies long enough. I kind of feel like it should just stay in enemies until you decide it not to, rather than just it being a limited time of like three seconds, maybe one, two, three, four, about four seconds. It's still, eh, it's not really enough. It's not like a super high quality item, so I kind of get it, but it would be nice if it just stuck in the enemy for a bit longer. He spawned spiders, and it spawned these critters all. I don't want to be teleported back to the starting room. Don't. I don't want that at all. Why would anyone want that? Oh, God, Icarus. You peace. You peace. I'm not interested. Just let me do my boss fight and not get teleported out of it. Now I have to do the whole thing again with much lower damage. Sad times. Really is. Oh god, the brimstone. Oh god. Getting wrecked right now. This might be the end of us, I'll be honest. He's spawning pretty hard enemies. And the brimstone just keeps coming. 
Oh my goodness. Such a hard time getting out the way of it. Might be okay, actually. What happened to my knife, then? The hell was that? It kind of, like, slowed down. Oh, God. What are you spawning this time? Stop jumping, you shit! <laughs> oh my god! He just won't stop jumping! Fuck me, Vanilla Wafer. Procked. Got our midnight stack. Oh my god, this has been stressful. We've got so far to go yet as well. We're only just on Dank Depths 2. Yeah. Damn. Also, these 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 bloody dudes are annoying as shit. They spawn a thousand spiders. Okay. We're getting through. It's a bit of a slog, but we're getting through. Oh god. Nice. I'm really hoping we get some good payouts from these red chests at some point. So far, it's just not been good. I was really hoping the red chest would be a sort of a way out for us. Give us some decent items. Get a potential of getting guppy. Ooh, hello, one of these rocks. I realize I'm supposed to, like, charge that rock up to get more out of it. <sighs> I fucking hate this mechanic. It's bullshit. <laughs> I just want to, like, let, just let me do my thing. Leave me alone. It's cool seeing the enemies change all the time, though, in this challenge. Oh, God, we got some brimstone flies in here? Wow, okay. They, neither of them got any chance to do their brimstone attack, though. That's good, at least. Oh, God. Oh, my God. The enemy's just... It's going crazy. This challenge is kind of mental. This challenge is a little bit loco. Okay, Soul Heart is nice, but I'm really looking for some damage items, please. That's what I need. Oh! <laughs> All the way back to the fucking starting room. It's so annoying as well, because it's like... You have to, like, get hit again. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. It's like, get hit again to get your flight back. It's, well, your flight and your damage and stuff. And it's just like, ugh. Just kind of a gross mechanic in my opinion. The more the more I have to deal with its like annoyances, the more I'm just realizing I just don't like it. It just it's just bad. It's uh, it's just it just seems like such a strange mechanic for a character to have. Yeah, I just I don't get it. I don't see the point. Why do I have to traverse back all the way here? I, I get that obviously it's promoting to not to like not get hit. But just chill out for a minute. Leave me alone. Also, I'm gonna skip that room because the dude opened the door and gave him the opportunity. I just can't be fucked going through all these rooms again. Please. I, I realize I could just do it without my flight, but I've got like no stats. I need the stats, and the flight is like pretty good for saving myself. But now I'm gonna have to do. This room again, and the other room again, and it's just, oh. Thank you for opening the door for me. Okay, this guy getting upgraded is very sad. Because, okay, thank god we downgraded him there. We've been hit. Holy damn. 
This challenge is definitely a, one of the more difficult ones I've tried. Playing as Icarus definitely makes it way more difficult, I think. What the hell enemy are you? God. What the hell is this? Oh my god. I'm at such low health now. I'm just, I'm playing bad because the game's annoying me. <laughs> I'll be honest. I'm just, I'm kind of just giving up because this is just frustrating as all hell. This challenge is interesting, but I really wish you could get item rooms or at least shops. Not having either is just kind of depressing. I think it's one of those things as well where it also just kind of leads to really sort of lackluster runs. I mean, I get that it's a challenge and you're not meant to be able to get like crazy synergies and stuff, but like part of the fun of Isaac is like the synergies and items you can get, but like you don't start with any interesting items in this challenge and you then you can't really get any either. So it leads to a sort of very plain run with the only main difference being that the uh, enemies change all the time but it's like it's like even with ultra hard there's still item rooms you can still get interesting synergies and build on it even if the challenge itself is trash but we're going into this boss now and we'll have to see how we do out here i guess oh bloody hell vanilla weather will heals up the oh no it doesn't whoopsie okay mum's foot and sadly we have to go all the way to mum's heart here so is this red mum as well? Oh, fuck it. <laughs> Anyways, that was pretty horrific. I hope you guys did enjoy that one. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.